Ports have been expecting this ban on Russian flag ships for several weeks. Locally, the Port of Mobile believes it will have very little, if any, impact here. President Joe Biden changing course Thursday, banning Russian ships from American ports. No ship that sails under the Russian flag or that is owned or operated by a Russian interest will be allowed to dock in a United States port or access our shores. None. None. That defiant announcement coming more than seven weeks after Canada did the same thing. Since the war in Ukraine started, European countries have also banned Russian ships. The Port of Mobile says the U.S. ban shouldn't impact the port city. From a foreign flag vessel perspective and the number of ships that are entering our port, it's very, very small. And like I said, I haven't been able to really identify this morning any uh, Russian flag carriers that call the port of Mobile. While Russian flag ships are rare in Mobile, the port does bring in Russian pig iron. It's a raw material that's used in steel production. So far, that import hasn't been impacted by U.S. sanctions put on Russia in the last few months. It is a rapidly changing landscape and absolutely for that one product line that, that does come out of uh, Russian ports. It, it could it could most definitely be disrupted. All of this comes as the Port of Mobile continues to post record growth. I think that it just remains to be seen as to what happens and uh, the port and uh, and I'm quite certain our shippers are keeping a watchful eye. The Port of Mobile says Russian trade is a very small part of what all U.S. ports see. At this point, it's unclear how long this ban will be in place. Live in the studio tonight, Tyler Fingert. Fox 10 News.